welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming um, my foundation routine and how I highlight, contour, bake, all of that good stuff. So um, anyway, um, everything will be left down below in the description box and I hope you all enjoy. Whatever you wanna see, just go ahead and let me know down below. And um, yeah, so stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Um, first and foremost, I'm gonna start with priming my skin. I'm going to do a hydrating primer and then also a smoothing primer. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. And then this is the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. It's in the little like pot thingy. I'm gonna take that first and just put it, like a little brush thing, in my T-zone. And any place I feel needs to be smoothed out a little bit. This is gonna go where I have some larger pores, just to kind of fill them in. And then I'm going, going to take the hydrating primer, and put that everywhere else. And I'm just gonna kind of pop that into my skin. I'm going to start out with my foundation. I'm going to use, as always, my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and shade 104 um, to go ahead and start. So I'm just gonna do like a little dollop on my hand and then take my Real Techniques blending sponge and stipple this all over to my face. So next I'm going to use my NYX Wonder Stick in Universal to cream contour. I don't do this all the time, but I figured I'd include it since it is part of contouring. So I'm gonna go from the top of my ear to like the corner of my mouth. I'm gonna go along my jaw. Do a little bit. On my forehead, bring down onto my temples, and then on my nose. And then I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with this. This is the Sephora Mineral Powder Brush number 45. I'm gonna start with a corrector. This is the medium, what are you called? NYX Dark Circle Corrector. I'm gonna use like a little precision angle brush thingy. Pick up a fair amount of that. And then place this right where I have the most darkness. going to kind of pat that in just a little bit. I'm going to take my Bye Bye Under Eyes concealer. This one is um, neutral medium and I'm going to combine it with another um, under eye concealer just to make the color a little bit better. I'm just going to stick some of that on the back of my hand and kind of dot it. Same brush that we did the corrector on. And then blend that out with my beauty blender. And then I'm going to take for the rest of my face, I'm gonna take the MAC Prepper and Prime highlighting pen in light blue boost. Light boost. This is the yellowy one, and I'm just gonna kind of highlight more in strategic places around my face. And then blend it up. All right. And then I'm going to 
bake underneath my eyes with my Ben Nye um, banana powder. I'm just gonna take the same beauty sponge, kind of get it all in there. there for just a minute. I'm going to powder the rest of my face with my um, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and a powder brush. Just kind of dust that. I'm going to let the bake sit there until I'm done with my contour. So when I start with my contour, I'm going to take like a transition and then like a powder brush so this is um the tarte amazonian clay bronzer in park avenue princess I'm just gonna kind of dust this to bronze up my skin and then i'm going to take something more focused for my contour which i'm going to use hula and i'm going to take a more defined angle brush to do so. So I'm just going to kind of pick up a fair amount and I'm going to chisel my cheekbones. So I'm holding the brush kind of upwards so that I can get a nice sharp line. I don't think I have the biggest forehead but I just don't like to leave it blank. And then I'm going to take a small defined, this is actually a crease brush, but I like it to contour underneath my lip and define my nose contour. And then I'm going to take, this is the e.l.f. contour brush, I believe. I like this to bake my contour, so I'm going to take it into the same Ben Nye powder, kind of just off the excess so I don't have too, too much. I'm going to let that sit there. I'm going to dust off the powder <sighs> underneath my eyes. And then I am going to do, I'm going to do my highlight next. So this is a highlight from Ofra Cosmetics. It is an eyeshadow or a highlighter. I just started using it as a highlighter and I actually really, really like it. Um, this is in the color Bliss and I'm going to take that on a big fan brush. I'm just going to dust this on the tops of my cheekbones fair amount of it because I like to be glowy. Dust this on my nose, on my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to do my blush. I'm going to take this small angled brush and I'm going to actually take, this is a Too Faced blush. It's Who's your poppy? This color right here. And I'm just gonna kind of swirl this on the apples of my cheeks and bring it back. I'm gonna blend everything out with a clean duo fiber brush. Kind of blend everything together on my face and dust away that bake and I think I want a little bit more of a contour so I'm going to use my chocolate Soleil bronzer with that small brush just to kind of focus it right back there Then I like to take whatever's left over on 
my sponge from my bake just to make everything a little bit more subtle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go finish up my makeup and then be right back.